1000th Town Hall Meeting. Good morning, Jerry. Jeff, good morning to you. You say that and it makes me feel like <laughs> I'm really old. We're returning to Marion, Kansas, uh, which is where I conducted my very first town hall meeting. Meetings in communities across our state was a way for me to make certain I knew what, not just the national issues, but also this, can you help us solve a particular problem for our community? Hello. The reality is that sure. I actually enjoyed doing this, and it's part of my job that if I, if I didn't come home every weekend, I wouldn't want the job. Uh, I couldn't tolerate being in Washington, D.C. Uh, seven days a week, uh, week after week. But more importantly, it helps me to learn, and it's given me a chance to get a, to know people in more than just a superficial way. I'm Peggy Blackman, and I had the privilege of being at Congressman Moran's first town hall meeting in Marion in 1997. He's listened to us, he's always listened to us, he's always been available to comment, and I have always found him to be very receptive. We never forget where he comes from. He hears what's going on. Thank you for being here uh, and holding my feet to the fire uh, with those suggestions, marching orders, instructions, complaints. I think this is the way that democracy should work. Um, and most, much of what I know and the issues that I focus on uh, in our nation's capital are based upon conversations I have with Kansans, often in a setting like this, uh, but also at the grocery store or the post office or church on Sunday. Uh, it is the way that I gather information and have a, a better understanding of uh, how things should work. Uh, and I very much appreciate the common sense and good judgment that I garner from these kind of conversations. It's always a delight to meet with Jerry. He really cares about Kansas and the people he serves. He recognizes people, he knows their issues. How else do you represent somebody or a community or a state without doing that? 